Okay, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e. It's a really long name. I thought since I didn't buy this when it was first launched last year, why don't I try an Amazon renewed version and see what you get. Now, according to Amazon, when you buy Amazon renewed, it's either refurbished, pre-owned, or an open box. Now this version was $100 less than if I would have bought it brand new. And it does say that products on Amazon Renewed have been inspected and tested for qualified suppliers to work and look like new. And it does come with the Amazon Renewed guarantee. And it should have no visible cosmetic imperfections when held 12 inches away. Okay, it's kind of strange. Uh, the, the products may be packaged in a generic box, or in this case, it does come with the original packaging. And I'll leave a link in the description below with current pricing and more information. This one's supposed to come with a 128 gigabyte micro SD card. And this is the 128 gigabyte version. So overall, the packaging isn't too bad. Definitely looks like someone bought it and returned it, obviously. Wow, this thing is super lightweight. Okay, so it does come with the charger. Definitely not the cleanest I've ever seen, but as long as it works. Good thing is the USB-C cable is included and looks to be in pretty good shape. It does come with a 128 gigabyte micro SD card as advertised. So that's definitely a good thing. And it does have the SD card removal tool. So that's good. All the paperwork is included. The 3.5 millimeter adapter is also included because unfortunately this one doesn't have a headphone jack. It looks like it's in brand new condition. I don't see any cracks or chips on the screen, so that's definitely a good sign. Wow, this looks like it's in pretty much brand new condition. Charging port looks like it's in perfect condition. So now let's see if it powers up. Okay, that's a good sign so far. I'm just sort of curious why these people return this. Okay, so it powers up. Everything looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and charge this up because it looks like the battery's almost dead. The nice thing is you've got face recognition, fingerprints, pattern, pin, and password for the lock screen. So the fingerprint scanner is just right on the power button. My LG G5 tablet also has that. It's not really the best, but it's not bad. Now you can also choose if you don't wanna download all of the Samsung apps. This tablet is currently on Android 9, and it's also on One UI version 1.1. Now just some of the specs for the Galaxy Tab S5e. This does come in gold, silver, and black. This is the black version, and it weighs in at right at 400 grams. This does have a 10.5 inch Super AMOLED display with a 2560 by 1600 resolution at 287 PPI. This does have an eight megapixel front facing camera, and it's got a 13 megapixel rear facing camera. Now the processor on this one is a Snapdragon 670 dual 2.0 gigahertz plus hexa 1.7 gigahertz it comes in two configurations a 4 gig ram 64 gigabyte or a 6 gig ram 128 gigabytes which is the version that i've got here and this is expandable up to 512 gigabytes with a micro sd card it's got wi-fi direct bluetooth 5.0 usb 3.1 first generation now, one thing that's really nice about this one is it's got four speakers, two on the top and two on the bottom with sound by AKG. It also has cinematic sound with Dolby Atmos. It also looks like you can do 4K video recording at 30 frames per second. Playback is also 4K at 30 frames per second. And then it's got a pretty decent sized battery at 7,040 milliamp hours. It's also got fast charging, pogo charging, and video playback should last up to 15 hours, but we'll definitely be testing that. Like a lot of other Samsung products, it also has security with the Knox platform. Just a quick size comparison. This is the Galaxy Tab A 10.1, and you can see they're basically the same height. The Tab S5e is just a little bit wider and a little bit less bezel around the edges. 
The nice thing is, since you get the fingerprint scanner right on the power button, you basically unlock the tablet just by pushing the power button, which is actually a pretty smart way to do it. So I've only used about 21.4 gigabytes of the 128 gigabytes available. That's not too bad. I mean, I'll definitely have to check again once I download the rest of my apps and some games, just like most other Samsung products. When you swipe to the left, you've got Bixby. Now, one thing you do get with the Tab S5e is Samsung Dex, which you don't get with the cheaper tablets. You can double tap to wake. You can keep the screen on while you're looking at it with Smart Stay. You've got Easy Mute, Palm Swipe to capture, and Swipe to call or send messages. You can also tone down motion effects on the screen, such as when apps are open and closed with reduced animations. This does have a game launcher. You can also set up calling and texting on other Galaxy devices signed in to your Samsung account. One thing that I always like to change is the navigation buttons. I like to switch the button order so that it matches with all my other Android devices. The nice thing is this does have a blue light filter and night mode. It's also got a couple different screen modes such as adaptive display, AMOLED cinema, AMOLED photo, and basic. You can also adjust it to your liking down below. There's quite a few things you can adjust on the home screen as well, such as the home screen grid, app screen grid. You have a couple different choices for home screen layout. You can also swipe down anywhere on the screen for notifications. Okay, so that's the unboxing and most of the basics. So overall, I gotta say, so far, I really like what I'm seeing. I really don't see why someone bought this and returned it, but as long as everything works, that's all I care about. So I'm gonna test this out as much as possible in the next couple days. Come back and give you my final thoughts. So the first thing I had to do was test out how this tablet did with playing games such as PUBG Mobile. And it actually looked really good. The graphics setting was HD with high frame rates and it played just fine. Definitely one of the best looking displays on tablets I've used so far. Games like Call of Duty Mobile and Asphalt 9 also work just fine with no problems. This tablet performs a lot better than I was expecting. Okay, within the camera app, definitely looks pretty good for a tablet camera anyways. Looks like you can do 3x4, 9x16, 1 to 1, or full ratio. So within the camera app, you've got Panorama, Pro, Live Focus, Photo, with 2x digital zoom, Video. You can also use the 2x digital zoom and video. And you've also got hyperlapse mode. You can go up to 1440p on YouTube videos and it will play full HD resolution on Netflix. I also tested out the audio adapter that was included just to see if it worked and sure enough, it worked just fine. All four speakers appear to be working just fine as well. Here's a quick sample just to let you hear what they sound like. So I never actually got to try out the original Cloud Alphas, but I saw they were on sale for only 99 bucks on Amazon. And the Alpha S gives you the nice smooth material, similar to what the Steel Series Arctis headsets use, which is better in my opinion. Although I still prefer leatherette material because it doesn't get quite as warm. The leatherette material is a little nicer on the Logitech headset, but the HyperX feels lighter and has less clamping force on my ears. Both of these headsets fit my ears pretty good as well, which was surprising. The Logitech opening is a hair larger, but for me, the most comfortable headset between these two is the HyperX Alpha S. Oh, I also tested the micro SD card that was included and it seemed to work just fine. Another great thing about this tablet is the battery life. I did a battery drain test where I was streaming video with the screen brightness on 100% and it lasted around eight and a half hours, which is really good compared to the other tablets I've tested. It's gotta be in the top two. Plus the fast charging time is pretty decent as well. It took about two and a half hours to charge from zero to 100%. Now I don't know the reason this tablet was returned, but after my testing, I can't seem to find anything wrong with it. One other thing I was thinking is maybe the Wi-Fi was dropping or having connection issues. And I checked the speeds in multiple areas of my house and I was getting 
normal Wi-Fi speeds that I typically get with all my other devices. Now, in case you're wondering, because this is a Samsung tablet, the S Pen does not work with this version, which some people may not like, but I'm gonna try out a couple capacitive stylus type pens or pencils, whatever you wanna call them, to see how they work with this. And I'm also gonna try out some cases soon because I don't wanna get any scratches on this thing. All I can say is, if you're like me and you've hesitated in the past about buying products on Amazon, I would say give it a try. Maybe you'll get an item, just like I did, that looks like it wasn't even used. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may wanna say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm.